Did you ever try to photograph fire? Fire like this. Stay with me and in next five minutes I'll show you how to use it in product photography. This is a short version, really short version of the workshop that we recorded for Pro Club members at 40G School of Photography. So the idea is to have some alcohol, alcohol that's not just a bottle of alcohol, it's a fireball. So the whole story, the fireball uh, whiskey with the fire all around. This is the final shot that we did during the workshop. It was a little bit more complicated, a uh, little more mm, sophisticated than I'm going to show you right now. But if you can repeat this, be careful though with the fire, it will be an awesome experience for you. So first we need to shoot the bottle, okay? Just a bottle without any fire. For this, I use three light sources. The first light is to create the age, okay? You see the age, right? This is specular highlight with the, comes from strip box, easy to do, and it's necessary to show that the bottle is glossy. It's sharp reflection from a hard light source, meaning there is no blur, it's a sharp cutoff line between bright and dark, okay? Second light is this. Check it out what it's doing. It creates a gradient, okay? It creates a gradient on this side and it's needed to show the volume. With gradient, we create a 3D image because uh, photography, it's 2D. So we need to make sure that you can create the volume of the subjects that you shoot. And the last light, this. This is special spotlight, optical snoot, but you can use any snoot. And I highlight the label, okay? And now we have a highlight for the label. And what's important to do is to move it the way that we almost won't have any reflection on the bottle. This is why I shoot from the bottom. This is three lights. We have a bottle. Now let's add fire. Okay, for the fire, we need to have a little bit less light, continuous light, because I don't want to have any spills. I use 160 of a second shutter speed, F10, I saw 100. Switch to the high shooting speed mode. So maximum frame rate for the camera, it will be five, uh, I think five frames per second. Should be good to go. Let's see what we got. I'm using remote capture. I'm using Sony remote for this. You can see the pictures. I don't really care about white balance right now, okay? Uh, I shoot RAW, of course, only RAW files. The flame looks nice, especially when it's behind the bottle. Wow, nice. But we have a problem. With that frame rate, it was not enough time for the strobe to recycle, right? So it's, it cannot get uh, enough brightness. So what I'm going to do? I'm going to shoot once and capture everything, okay? On the workshop, I'll show you how to do this at five frames per second. Uh, plus, I show you how to create a fireball. Not just a fire behind, but exactly fireball. Flame and that is in focus. Uh, there is no motion blur. And well, this is more advanced technique. You're welcome to join Pro Club. This is the best way to learn special effects in product photography. Ready? Go. Check it out. Awesome, don't you think? Okay, that's it. It's a short version of the workshop. If you want to see everything, how we did with the fireball, with the over one hour of post-production, we did a composite shot, how to create flame that looks interesting, join Pro Club. If you want to keep getting free tutorials, subscribe to 40G channel. Every time we release the workshop, I'll be doing for you a short tutorial like this so you can learn. See you next time. Don't forget to subscribe. If you like this video, comment. Any questions will be answered on the next workshop. Goodbye. How am I supposed to do this? Oh.